Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Stash and I am so happy that you joined me today. You're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. And let me show you what it is. There you go. It is my lemon vinaigrette bow tie pasta. It is so easy to make. It can be done probably start to finish within 30 minutes. And uh, if you stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Okay, what I've done here is I have sliced two brown onions, as you can see right here. And I have done a red bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper, along with about four cloves of garlic that I've sliced lengthwise. That's all I've done there. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is this recipe has sausage in it. So what I did is I got ground sausage that is, this particular one's hot. Now remember, it's going to go in with a lot of pasta. And I'm gonna go over there right now and I'm gonna put it into the pan. Okay, what I have going on over here is I have a pot of boiling water. I have salted it with uh, kosher salt. Yeah, it needs to really develop the flavor, the pasta. This is the time to do it. This here is the uh, sausage. It is hot, you can get mild or you can get medium. I prefer for it to be a little bit hot, only because, ooh, listen to that sizzle. It's got a little bit of paper on here. It doesn't want to come off, but it will eventually. If I don't kill myself, I probably will. Oh my God, it's sparking. Ah! Okay, we're gonna turn that little puppy dog down. She's going crazy and I need to break it up. Okay, and we're going to cook this all the way through. I did put, even though there's a, a considerable amount of fat in the sausage, I don't like it sticking to the pan itself. So that's what I'm doing here. That's why I put the, the oil in here. As you can tell, it's pretty much uh, absorbed into the sausage here. So what we're going to do is just continue to break this down and fully cook it. And then we'll set this off to the side. So there we go. Now in my next pan, or actually it's a pot, the one with the, that has the roaring water in it, I'm going to put the, put the pasta in here. As you can tell, it's nice and boiling. Put that in there. Ooh, look at that bubble. Give it a little stir so it doesn't stick to each other. Now once again, this does have salt in it. You want it to taste like seawater. If you've been to shore, you'll know what that tastes like. And we're going to set the timer for 11 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm going to check the sausage. I think that it's done. I'm pretty sure that it is. Yeah, it looks really good. Look at this. Look at that. That looks amazing. So all I do, I just set it aside. It's hot. And I'm going to set it aside. Now remember what I have in here is I have a little bit of olive oil along with the, the natural uh, oil that comes off of the sausage itself. Okay, I'm gonna take the pan that I did the sausage in and I'm going to saute my onions, my bell peppers and garlic, but I'm gonna do it in stages. So here it comes. Now remember, there's a little bit of oil in here. I'm going to need a little bit more added to it. So I'm just gonna reach over and get some olive oil. Olive oil, that's Popeye's girlfriend, isn't it? There we go. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. We'll slush around there a little bit. Let the heat, let it heat up a little bit. My pasta's boiling away very nicely, and that should be done soon. I'm just gonna set the sausage to the side right now, okay? And then our next step is, we're gonna do this in stages. So, gonna do the onions first, then the bell peppers, and then the garlic at the very end. Okay, and then we're gonna set that aside. Remember, just like when I made the barbecue chicken pizza, this is exactly the same in that we're doing it in steps. That's all we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna take this and put that right in there. There we go. Can you hear the sizzle? I don't know how I get those little things in there. Okay, and then just stir it around. Now, I do like to add salt and pepper to it, too. I think you can add layers of flavor in every step that you go. And when you cook and you add salt, it won't taste salty at the end. 
But if you add salt at the end, it's going to taste very salty. It absorbs into the food itself. So I'm just going to break these down right now. Here we go. And I just take a nice amount of salt. There we go. And I do pepper too. You notice the containers that I put this in has nice little lids on it. And I can uh, just reach right into it with my fingers. Make sure you wash your hands first, but here we go. I'm gonna do some pepper on this too. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this break down a little bit and then we're going to put the bell peppers in. And after the bell peppers, my garlic that's right here, the garlic will go in. This all adds flavor. Meanwhile, while this is developing, I'm gonna start doing a lemon vinaigrette. And it's very simple. Have one of my neighbors gave me wonderful lemons. Wonderful lemons, they are so juicy. And what I wanna do is I want to uh, zest these. Now you're just taking off the yellow portion, not the white portion, the pith. You don't wanna do that. that. That's bitter. But this will give you, I don't know, there's so much more flavor just in the zest itself than uh, the juice. But I do use the juice too because in a salad dressing you need something that's acid. And here we go. There we go. Now, you could do this with a box grater if you want to. Uh, any type of grater. There are certain ones. I like this particular one. It's a little kind of a rasp in a way. And it works really well. This is such a juicy uh, lemon. It's just amazing. It's, this is going to be wonderful. This is going to be so good. I'm going to have everybody knocking on my door wanting to eat here. And I'm going to say, no, no, you can't come into my place. No, you have to get reservations. I'm a real bitch. <laughs> okay, now this one here, cut it in half. Look, look at the juice coming out of that. Isn't that amazing? But they are seeds. I just do it right through my hands, just like this. There we go. Squeeze it all in there, all that wonderfulness of lemons. I love lemons. Love them. There we go. Okay, that. A lot of seeds. A lot of seeds here. Ah, this is so amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the juice in here. I'm going to show that to you in a second. This is amazing. Look at all this juice. And I still, after all that, I still have three seeds in here. I am, something's wrong with me. Oh, come on guys. I'm going fishing. There, I got them pretty much out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just a clove of garlic. This may be more than one, but it's simple. Use fresh garlic. I don't really like to buy that pre-skimmed um, garlic. I'll oh, see there are two here. Move that over a little bit. And I'm going to do something different too. I'm going to put uh, pepperoncinis in here. And I'm going to use a little bit of the flavoring out of the pepperoncinis. Uh, in the lemon vinaigrette here. Okay, guys, come on. That's the pesky part about this, is trying to get the skin off of here. But I'm, do I'm doing it. There we go. Keep your fingers out of the way. Save that and I'll cut myself. I hope not. Okay, just put that in here. Whoops, I need something to open this up with. These are pepperoncinis. They're very good, they're good on sandwiches. They're good in a lot of different things, but they're Italian. And I'm gonna break these down a little bit. I'm gonna cut them up a little bit. And it's real simple. Oh, this one here, ooh, I don't know. That one, I don't like the looks of them so much. So we're gonna go on to another one. Inside, they have little seeds inside, but they're, they're easy. Okay, here we go. There we go. We're just going to put that in here. There. Like I said before, make sure you have a good knife. 
This is very important to do. Let me get my, I'm gonna put salt and pepper in here. Now you, it's kind of difficult to over season this. You can make this stronger than normal because what you're going to do is you're gonna end up flavoring the whole pot. So it's really important to do. Oh, my onions need to be stirred. So I'm gonna to have to get back over there in a second here. Give me one second. Oh, they look so good. Oh, the smell, you should be here. It smells so good. It is so amazing. Oh my gosh. And remember, I'm doing it in the same pan that I did the sausage in. So what's happening? I'm getting the flavoring of the sausage in here too. So this is just amazing. But they're breaking down in a couple more minutes. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer, just a couple more minutes. I'm gonna take the bell peppers and put them in there too, okay? So back to the lemon vinaigrette. I've already put salt and pepper in. Kind of do the seasoning that you want. I have a handy dandy whisk. You need to have several of these. You use it a lot. And once again, I'm doing this all in stages. There we go. Remember, this is seasoning all of your pasta. So you, you want it to taste really wonderful, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of the peppercini. There we go. Woo, I'm getting it on me. Okay, there we go, all done. I'm gonna set that aside. So now what I have, I have the sausage done. I have the lemon vinaigrette done, all setting aside. Now, my next step is, I'm gonna take the red and yellow bell peppers and I'm gonna put them in with the onions and they're gonna break down too. But I don't want these to get too soft. I want them soft, but not really soft. I don't want them mushy, not that texture. So here we go. Woo! Okay, now, almost done there. Oh, don't go in there. Okay, as you can see on my plate here, this is the garlic that I cut up. I'm gonna wait on this because this cooks very, very quickly and it can burn very fast and it gets bitter and nobody wants bitter garlic, okay? So here we go. It's gonna sit over here for a second. I also am going to add to this brown sugar. Brown sugar is wonderful. It just brings out all the flavors and it just makes this pasta just so scrumptious. So that's another item that I'm gonna put in here in a second, but I do need to take my spoon. What I'm gonna do now, is, uh, the pasta is ready, so I wanna drain it, but one of the little things that I wanna do is I wanna take a little bit of the water out, and I'm, I guess I'm gonna to have to use a cup here, because I didn't think ahead on this one, so I need to get that. Excuse me. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is, is that if the pasta seizes up, gets really a little bit too thick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this pasta water in here and it'll be natural. It'll just be wonderful. Okay, that's what I did. A little bit of pasta in there, but there we go. I'm going to set this aside over here. And now, I'm going to drain the pasta over here. I have a strainer. Can you see me? Yeah. I have a strainer. Woo! I'm getting the facial. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strain it. There we go. Oh, God. Okay. Since it's going to sit for a few minutes, I'm going to leave a little bit of moisture in there. Okay? So I'm gonna, what I'm doing, I'm going to take what I put in here. So I poured it all back in there. And I'm going to put the lid on it. That's a little hot. <laughs> I forgot, and I picked the lid up. Okay, I'm just gonna set it right back up over there. And all we have to do now is wait for this to break down. What I'm gonna do, this is my uh, brown sugar. This is light brown sugar, light brown sugar. And I'm gonna put this in and it just makes it taste so wonderful. If you don't want to do it, it's fine, but I think you'd be missing out if you did. Put in what you want. I'm not, I'm not gonna put all that in there. And then I'm just gonna... 
Okay. Oh, I forgot one more thing I could put in here. It's wonderful. If you bear with me for a second, I think I could find it in my cupboard here. Oh, where is it? Where did it go? There it is. Right there. Chili peppers. I'm going to put a few more chili peppers. Oh, I'm going to put chili peppers in here. Even though it's hot, the sausage is hot, I'm going to add a little bit more flavor to it. A little heat. Not too much heat. There. I'd probably put in an eighth of a teaspoon. Probably somewhere around there. So, you know, you have to go on what you like and what your family likes. I'm going to turn the flame up a little bit on this. Okay, and these are going to just break down for a little while. I'm going to take my garlic. Take my garlic. I'm going to put my garlic in there now. Now, what you can tell is it's laying on top. So more than likely, it's not going to burn at this point. And I'm just going to give it a gentle toss here. I don't want the garlic to all end up on the bottom of the pan because it could possibly burn there. Okay, here we go. It's time to assemble. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get the pasta first. I think you remember the pasta. I'm going to show it to you in a second here. Just get, bear with me for one second. Ooh, the heat. Oops. I think I need to use, it has a tendency to kind of want to stick together a little bit. So we're going to do this. There we go. Look at that beautiful pasta. All this bow tie pasta. There we go. Okay. Get every little one of them out of there. Okay. That's done. Next. I'm going to stir that up a little bit. Oh, she looks so good. Doesn't she look good? Oh my God, she looks amazing. Okay. Now what do I have here? I have two brown onions. I have the red bell pepper, the yellow bell pepper, and I have about three to four uh, cloves of garlic in here, all sauteed down. Where does she go? She goes right inside there. Once again, we're just building it up. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Okay. That sucker's heavy. I'm going to do this, stir this around a little bit like this. Just get it incorporated. Remember, we still have not put in the lemon vinaigrette, and I still have not put in the sausage. Here's the sausage. All sauteed, all cooked. She's going in now. Okay. Oh, this girl is stunning. She's a beauty queen. Look at that. Oh my God. Woo! All right, she put her lipstick on today. There she did. Look at that. Oh my God. Now, I'm going to do, I have, I'm going to whisk my vinaigrette up a little bit more. Oops. And I'm going to pour all over the top. Oh, put it all in there. Just like that. And once again, just stir it. Stir it in. Look at that. Look at all that sausage in there. You can do this with so many other items too. You can put chicken in here if you want to put chicken in here. You can put beef in here. You can put, I mean, just think of it. You can put it in here. But look at this. Now, the final step is the Parmesan cheese. And I do like to put this in. I'm pretty liberal about this. I love to put it in there. There we go. Mm, let me see here. You know, I think I'm gonna have to taste some of this in just a second. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. Oh, that looks so amazing. So what did we do? Bow tie pasta, two onions, red and yellow bell pepper, about three to four cloves of garlic, sliced, lemon vinaigrette, I showed you how to do that, and we assemble it, and the sausage. That's it, simple. Look, how many people will this serve? Let me, let me, let me, let me get a bowl. Okay, have a bowl, and let's try a little of this. You have to, oh my God, look at this. Look at, look at that. Is that amazing? Look at that, oh. 
There we go. Oh, I did put uh, pepperoncinis in here too. So that should be good. Let me, let me see. Let me get a fork. What do you think? I think it's gonna be good. Look at that. It's gonna be good. Be careful, it's hot. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. So good. Feed so many people with this. Now you can serve this with wonderful loaf of bread. You can make garlic bread, garlic toast. You can do all sorts of things. A beautiful salad would be wonderful. This would be so great. Have a bunch of friends over, family, and you have a wonderful dinner. And I need for, oh, pardon me while I chew and talk to you at the same time. I need for you, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. And right now, next to where it says subscribe, there's a little bell. Please click on that. You'll get notifications and you'll get all this wonderfulness. I'm going to come to you several times a week and I want you to be able to have all this great food in your life. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.